The Grammy Awards are coming up this Sunday right here on CCO. And some truly talented singers are nominated. So why do some people have great voices and others don't? Good question. Heather Brown visited Apple Valley High School to talk with some choir members headed to Carnegie Hall this spring. First of all, congratulations on going to New York. Yeah. Thank you. It's exciting. Carmen. Yeah, I come from a very musical family. Ella. I used to listen to a lot of like Michael Jackson. And, and Charlie. As young as like eight years old, I was always like singing in the shower. And Are all what I'd call away, good singers. I'm bound away. I mean, I sprung this song request on them with no warning. Missouri. I feel like all singing can be good singing. For some people that comes naturally and for other people it doesn't. Is singing well something that you're born with? I would say yes and no. Sarah Greer is a vocal instructor. Singing is an athletic activity. Some of us are Michael Phelps and some of us are in the kiddie pool. <laughs> <laughs> your unique voice has something to do with the shape of your vocal folds. Uh, directly behind the Adam's apple. And mouth and throat. Vocal folds kind of all work the same, but they're individual, like fingerprints. But she says there are three basics to singing well. Being able to match the rhythm or the timing. Being able to uh, mem have note memory. And the toughest one, pitch accuracy. Uh, Here's what she means. La. Yes. That, really? Yes, absolutely. Gonna make it harder. <laughs> right? And this is what commonly, thank you for your bravery, this is what commonly happens. And so while your brain knew what you were trying to do, the muscles in the larynx did not. The three things that I talked about really are the basics, mm -hmm. right? We also want things like vibrato and resonant tone mm -hmm. and good pronunciation. That's the advanced class. <laughs> right. How much of it is confidence? I feel like a lot a of lot. it is confidence, <laughs> like. Yeah. I mean, that's also real cultural and it can improve with training and exposure singers learn a lot by imitating but ultimately good really good is subjective i love beyonce frank sinatra one voice that i particularly love is amy winehouse mm -hmm. their voice is so cool it's so unique yeah what's the most important thing to having a good singing voice um enjoying singing yeah it's also about the feeling being willing to like take criticism having a good voice is a nice part of that heather brown but it's not everything wcco four news the vocal instructor told heather that she likes to think everyone can be good at singing but at the very least, vocal training can help you make better than you were before you started. If you have a good question for Heather, email her through wccocom links.